Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new, my name is Robin and this is our son Kyle who is home for Christmas from college. I've got a cleaning video for you guys and my son Kyle is working on a traditional Swiss bread recipe and so I'm going to share that recipe with you guys today too. Zolf is a Swiss braided bread and my husband's grandfather had this recipe, taught it to my husband's cousin and when Kyle was visiting over the summer when he was about 14 or 15 he learned this recipe and so he taught it to us and we really enjoy when he makes it. He used a kitchen scale to measure out 300 grams of unbleached flour and 200 grams of bread flour. In a large mixing bowl, you will need to measure out two and a quarter teaspoons of dry yeast, and to that you add 250 milliliters of lukewarm milk. You have to let the yeast dissolve completely in the milk, and so while Kyle was working on that, I was helping him out by getting out some of the other ingredients. When it comes to making bread, really the best tools are your hands, and so Kyle is just breaking up the yeast and helping it to dissolve a little faster this way. And once the yeast is dissolved, you can add the rest of the ingredients. So pour in the flour, add one egg, six tablespoons of softened butter. We let ours get a little bit beyond softened, but it will still work. And because Kyle is going to have his hands in the bread to knead it, I'm going to help him measure out the rest of the ingredients. Add one and a half teaspoons of salt and one tablespoon of sugar, and that's it. Then using your hands, just start mixing all of the ingredients together. All of the ingredients have come together and the dough forms a ball, you need to turn it out onto a floured surface to knead. According to this recipe by my husband's grandfather, the dough must be kneaded for 10 minutes. I'm so glad that Kyle learned the traditional method for making this bread because I had tried for years to find the right recipe for this bread and I never could find one that was like my husband's grandfather's. And so now that we can make the traditional bread, we love it. And this bread is usually served for breakfast, like with butter or jam. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but it's been a long time since we've had it and we've decided that we're going to have some with our soup tonight. So while Kyle continues to knead the bread, I'm going to clean up all of the things that we use to make it. And after some of the cleanup was done, I made us a cup of tea and we just enjoyed some time together in the kitchen. When 10 minutes of kneading time is finished, you can add the dough back to the bowl and then you cover it with a cloth towel. Then set the bowl in a warm place in your kitchen to rise for one hour. While we were waiting for the bread to rise, I was getting some more cleaning done in the kitchen and Kyle was sitting here at the counter keeping me company. I feel so blessed that we have recipes from both sides of our family that we're able to pass down from generation to generation. Last weekend, I showed you guys my grandmother's recipe for chocolate bourbon pecan pie. I will link that video in the cards above in case you guys are interested. It's great that we're able to share these recipes around the holiday table together with family and friends, and it's even more special when we have time together in the kitchen preparing them. Let me know in the comment section below if your family has a traditional recipe that has been in the family that you guys enjoy, especially around the holidays. I think it would be really fun because our Faith and Flower community has viewers from so many different areas of the world to see what everybody enjoys around the holidays.
spent the whole afternoon in the kitchen together, I made a big batch of homemade granola that we can have for breakfast. And for dinner tonight, I'm making cauliflower soup to go along with the bread. When the bread is finished rising, take it out and divide it into two parts. Then roll each half out into a long rope. So you start by crisscrossing both of the ropes and you're basically making a four-stranded braid, which to me is so complicated. I'm used to a three-stranded braid. I can do that no problem with my eyes closed, but when it comes to these four strands, it's really confusing and we have some written instructions, but it had been a really long time since we made it. So we tried over and over again. It was really funny. And then I remembered that I had seen a video on YouTube where someone showed how to braid the four-stranded braid. So I got out my laptop and we were able to do it following the instructions and it came out perfect. Put the bread on a lightly greased baking sheet or one that's lined with a Silpat mat. When the dough is braided, brush it with a beaten egg yolk. Put the baking sheet on the bottom rack of a cold oven and set the temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll need to bake it for at least 25 minutes. My oven is a gas oven and it takes a lot longer, more like 40 to 45 minutes. So you'll just need to keep checking to make sure that the bread is done after about 25 to 30 minutes. The bread came out great and we really enjoyed having it with our soup for dinner. After dinner, everybody helped me by putting away their dishes, and so now I'm just going to finish cleaning up the kitchen and putting away the food, and then I'm going to join the guys in the living room. We'll watch a movie together and spend the rest of the evening relaxing.
hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This will be my last one for 2018. It's been a great year with you guys. I've enjoyed getting to know so many of you through the comments, and I really appreciate all the support you've given me. I have lots more videos planned for you guys in the new year, and if you are new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video and you won't miss out on anything. I want to wish you guys a very happy new year and I will see you in the next video.